salalberries picked by the stem and then eaten as if they were grapes are excellent source of nutrition for your journeys you can pick bundles and bundles and handfuls of them and add them to pancakes or oatmeal or anything you can make dessert out of them and they're abundant on the BC coast from about mid-August I'd say till maybe into October awesome Salal berry and maple syrup porridge waiting for the tide to rise so I can take my kayak. It's actually high enough to go now, but I still have a while. And then I can use the tide to suck me right into Winter Harbor. Okay, so we got Winter Harbor here. <laughs> I have no idea what to expect. When I asked about somewhere to do my laundry, I got laughed at. So, here we are. Here's Winter Harbor. Wow. Apparently the Red Roof place has a store inside. Here we go. Okay. So, I found a place to uh, rent for, the, for a couple nights, or just paying a buddy to stay in his fifth wheel here. That's nice, that's real nice. I'm able to cook up food and uh, yeah, this is Winter Harbor. There's not much here, not much here. And uh, anyway, yesterday when I got in, I just wanted to say I am hungry because my food's getting low. When I got in, I ate an ice cream bar, an O. Henry, a bag of Miss Vicky's chips, eight new to green bars, um, then I had a steak dinner that night where I ate the steak and a couple potatoes. Mowed two more full bags of potato chips and uh, then uh, ate about seven apples and uh, a couple more this morning. And I'm still just so hungry and I've got myself from the store uh, 12, I've got myself 12 eggs, I got myself a loaf of bread, some pasta, I got juice, banana, I've eaten, uh, another couple of granola bars, and, uh, I'm ready to cook up also a pizza, and I have a big, big rack of beef ribs for tonight. I'm, I'm doing nothing now but storing energy, storing food, uh, just trying to, just trying to keep keep alive because this trip is so hard and like I might have mentioned earlier on tape that it's it's really hard and I've been thinking about giving up I am measured it last night and it's been over 350 kilometers of uh, tough tough paddling well some of it's been pretty good but so Anyways. check what we got here we got the six egg omelette Wow, with lots of cheese, almost half of a block of cheese. And over here we got two packages of Sidekicks Lipton. And uh, once that's done, we're gonna move on. Devoured all that cheese. Move on to the bread, the pasta. We have a pizza sitting up here in the freezer. I'm just gonna eat and eat and eat. I'm just gonna devour as much food as I can while I'm here on land and uh, try to store up some body fat. Something for the trip, you know, something for the road. Peace. Yeah, yeah back in the day, uh, they used to have to take a rowboat and go into Coal Harbor for mail. The round trip would take them three weeks. To go to Coal Harbor for mail? Yeah, they had a rowboat. That's how they went. Wow. And uh, I've heard stories of them just about starving to death because the supplies ship didn't come. Yeah. 
And back in those days, there's millions of tons of cod everywhere, but they never fished, I guess. I don't know, they couldn't get out to fish. You're encompassed here in a really wet scenario at Winter Harbor. It's unbelievable here, and you're with some friends. What's your experience so far about Winter Harbor? I think it's a fine place to be indeed. Even in this wet weather, you find some good people, and uh, everything goes good. We got some ribs and the barbecue. <laughs> Tell me about the people. <laughs> People are great. People, not that there's that many, but as long as that's they're not helpful. that's not good enough. Tell me more about the people. <laughs> Let's say kind and hospitable, and uh, they're at least a good fishermen. So you're gonna travel possibly north to the top end of Vancouver Island in really bad conditions. How are you feeling about that? I'm excited. <laughs> excited. That's fantastic, man. <laughs> Do you figure you're going to handle the weather and everything? Yeah, I think so. So you're here under a canopy that you put up yourself with some friends, having a nice seafood dinner and things like that. Did this fit into your experience of being up here? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect? Exactly what I wasn't planning for. Would you do it again? Of course. <laughs> But, okay. uh, but in a different type of way. I can never do the same, the same trip twice. Perfect. So what do you have to say to people that are watching this video? Well, <laughs> I'd say uh, get, get out there. Go into the out. <laughs> and what should they expect? Shouldn't expect anything. <laughs> That's fantastic. Have a happy journey. Thank you. <laughs> what do we got there? Oh, we got some taters. We got ketchup too. Got, got ketchup, some taters. But we're all out of saffron. All out of saffron? Yeah, the rich fuckers ate it all. Oh, shit. We don't even have saffron for a KD anymore. Who needs saffron anyway? But what we do got is some damn good looking ribs. Can you see those? If not, check those out. Hey, good looking ribs. We're gonna eat like kings. Oh, those look so good. Hey. Okay, we're filming. Um, so, it's getting a little bit later at night. I don't ever look at the time. I don't know what time. Anyways. After we porked out on some prime rib and some potatoes and all sat around, chatted for a while, then uh, I decided it's time to hit the hay. And tomorrow, uh, depending on the weather, I'm hoping to head off to uh, a cove that's just around the corner. I'll get back to you on the name. And uh, it's probably about 10K from here. If it's good weather, then I'm gonna continue further and maybe try to get to a place called Raft Cove. So I'm gonna keep you updated. I'm able to, I was able to get some food from the store that will keep me going along my journey. And uh, just wanna say that I'm thankful and grateful for the place to stay. It's been a help. So help me get rejuvenated for the last uh, West Coast part of the mission, so keep you updated. The barge, the barge is large and in charge. The barge, the barge is large and in charge. Everybody looks at the big, big barge. Barge, 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 bar
Go Bart! Go Bart! Go! Go! Go Bart! Go Bart! Go! Go! Go Bart! I just got smacked by a big freaking wave. And it's coming again. So thanks to the structural flaw in the beach hut, I'm gonna be able to fill up some water. Hey. 